at Smart is to take simulation and modeling of infrastructure to the next step. Simulation uh, is more crucial than 10 or 20 years ago because we have a very large amount of power to simulate very complex problems in a short time. People working in simulation have been good at is to simulate transport, water management, energy distribution and usage. What we try to do here is to create this new generation of models that can incorporate these interconnections between utilities. So the current project that we're looking at um, is looking at the interplay between land use and transportation. And to help the Department of Transport to plan for the future of transport and urban planning for uh, the city of Randwick. For example, if you put in um, a new light rail, having put that in, what sort of uh, land use changes go on? You know, do you get some build-up in the number of people living in an area? Uh, what happens with the retail areas, with um, restaurants and shops. And then with those sorts of changes in the area, that may attract even more people in and then you need to reevaluate um, the transportation. But I think it will have very practical um, outcomes in terms of this will shape Sydney. Applying uh, social simulation to infrastructure research is quite recent. With agent-based modelling, basically each individual, each person, in the studying area is an object or an agent in the model and we can capture how agents or how people behave, how they interact with each other, how they make decisions, how they learn. Because of, of the nature of, of infrastructure operations and, and, and maintenance in Australia, uh, which is increasingly uh, controlled by private sector, it is obvious that smart infrastructure facility um, has to engage with the private sector. I uh, work currently simulating projects for Pop Kembla, Pacific National and Department of Transport, simulating the rail network servicing the port, how we can improve the efficiency of uh, train paths currently used by Pacific National. The outcome of the project would play a part in the overall uh, export of minerals on the international level. In five to ten years time, I hope that smart infrastructure facility will become the hub that would put Australia at the forefront of infrastructure research in the world.